Hi everyone, this is Rhonda Noski, the Newton Falls School Nurse, and I am here to provide you with some important information about the ongoing COVID situation. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for your tremendous cooperation in helping our staff and students stay healthy, keeping your children home when they are sick, notifying us of potential exposures, adhering to quarantine guidelines, and supporting our efforts to maintain a safe school environment have been key in our ability to prevent the spread of COVID in our schools. To date, no cases of COVID have been linked to transmission within our schools. As we move forward, it is important for you to know that the symptoms of COVID in children tend to differ from those experienced by adults. COVID in children has a gradual onset that may initially present as allergies, colds, or sinus symptoms. Fever can occur, but it is typically not extremely high and does not persist. Headache, sore throat, weakness, fatigue, vomiting, and diarrhea are common. Loss of sense of taste or smell is a very distinct symptom that is highly suggestive of COVID. Although our healthcare experts have learned a lot about COVID, there continue to be some major challenges in controlling the spread of the virus. Recognizing the symptoms of COVID quickly is difficult due to the gradual onset of mild symptoms that may mimic other illnesses. In addition, the virus can spread to others at least 48 hours before symptom onset. Once you determine that your symptoms may be COVID, it may take a couple of days to get a test, then a couple more days to get the results. You can easily see that six or more days may pass while an individual is spreading the virus before a diagnosis is made and the individual is placed in isolation. This obviously creates the opportunity for spread of the virus to those that the individual lives with, works with, goes to school with or socializes with. So what can we do about all this? I would like to suggest a few strategies that can help. Number one, if your child does not feel well, keep him or her at home until their symptoms have been gone for at least 24 hours without medication. Number two, if any member of your household is ill, contact your health care provider and follow their recommendations. Number three, if a household member is diagnosed with COVID, all household members will need to quarantine for 14 days and monitor for symptoms. Number four, if a household member is exposed to COVID, has symptoms of COVID, or is being tested for COVID, Please keep all family members home until cleared to return by a health care provider. Number five, remember to continue the good practices of social distancing, mask wearing, hand hygiene, and surface cleaning. And number six, try to avoid large gatherings and sleepovers. Newton Falls Schools has established a COVID hotline. The number is 330-442-7097. It is extremely important that you call this number if your child or household member is diagnosed with, has symptoms of, or is being tested for COVID. If your child has been exposed to someone with COVID, remember an exposure is defined as being closer than six feet for longer than 15 minutes. It is also important to note that the 15 minute exposure can occur in increments of time adding up to 15 minutes in a 24 hour period. Feel free to use the hotline if you have any other questions or concerns related to COVID. Again, thank you for everything you are doing to support our schools as we continue to battle through this. If we work together, we will succeed in keeping our school community healthy.